What's up, RJ family? It's your girl Jazz, and I'm back with another DIY. Today, we're going to be making custom wine glasses without the stem. Sorry if my words appear backwards. I'm using my face camera, but I want to come talk to you guys because I feel like you guys don't show my face too often. I mean, you guys don't see my face too often. Mm -hmm. So, I want to show you guys me. Because it has been a minute since I did a DIY with my face. Even though you guys will be focused on my hands throughout this video, I just wanted to pop in and talk to you guys in the beginning. So, yep, that's what we're doing. We're going to do all of these cups. I have to do 15 of them. But instead of being in gold, it's going to be in rose gold. And I'm going to make this font by SNS a little bit smaller. Yes. But I'm also making custom coasters with this, with these cups. These are the coasters I'm using. I got these off at Amazon. The link will be in the description. If you guys are liking my headband or my bracelets, I will have the website posted in the description box as well. And I will have the Instagram right there on the screen of where I got it from. It is my daughter that's selling it. So you'll be able to see all of that. My makeup I took off, so please excuse my face it's like if it's half off half on um yeah so 50 percent off so first things first you're gonna want to take your wine glass and clean it with your alcohol or your acetone but preferably alcohol and then you want to get your vinyl all cut out you're gonna need all of that but to get on into it, I'm gonna just show you guys and do a voiceover because my kids are starting to wake up. Is if, if you can hear him, my kids are starting to wake up, and um, I really need to get this done and started because I have a couple more videos that I need to record because I have more DIYs to do, and I want to start doing every time I have an order, a custom order, I want to record it instead of just like putting YouTube on the back burner. Your guys need to be my first priority. So I'm gonna make you my first priority. So let me hurry up and get this done. That way I can have more of a face-to-face -face on my next video, which has to do a lot more explaining than just adding their logo and their saying onto this cup. So I'll see you guys in like two seconds. I just wanted to show you some PPE real quick. This is the mask that I ordered off of Amazon. It's supposed to help with the epoxy as well as paint and fumes like that. So that'll be in the description box. Now I want to move on to what you see in front of us. These are the wine molds and coaster molds that I ordered from Amazon as well. That link in the description will be that link will be in the description box as well. Um, it was my first time. I'm not sure how to get the epoxy to harden without bending but it's still very bendable very soft but not sticky um now this coaster is not finished i'm gonna show you guys how i finished this but i didn't like how this tr this um set came out this wine set came out so i'm about to show you how i start my new set and how i added the roses and stems this is the epoxy i'm gonna use um, I got this from Joann's because I didn't feel like waiting two days for, for Amazon to start this project. And it already has to dry overnight. It comes with a part A and a part B. It is both one and one. So you do one ratio of part A and one ratio of part B. Whether that's 15 milliliters or 30, you just add one part and then you stir slowly. Here are the alcohol inks I'm using. I'm just going to display everything that I think I might use and didn't actually end up using all of it. So just stay tuned. Make sure you have all of your masks and your gloves on before using epoxy or handling epoxy. I am mixing a lot at one time. I'm doing two parts of each, two parts of A and two parts of B, four cups. So that's about 60 of each for this mold and I still need it more.
<laughs> so I always check the bottles to make sure that they're even. Um, as you can see, they're pretty even. It could be the slat of my table that they look a little bit different because it's not very flat. But I'm just stirring. You want to stir slower and you want to make sure that you have less air, bu air bubbles than what I do. So stir slowly and stir for five minutes. Also, you can use alcohol, 91% to pop the bubbles afterwards, as well as your heat gun. Um, I spilled the alcohol at the beginning of this video, trying to prep everything. So I did not get to spray with alcohol, but I did my heat gun. Now, at this point, you want to go ahead and divide the epoxy if you did them like I did it. Like if you started how I started. So you want to divide it and then add the glitter if you want glitter in it. Add the alcohol ink if you want alcohol ink in it. Or you can apply the alcohol ink after it's already in the mold. Now, everything else is just self-explanatory. You just add what you want to add and how you want to add it in. I started off with a clear base of epoxy. And now I'm going to add my roses. These are the roses from the other video that Bay bought me. And now they're dead. So, I can never purchase, repurpose them. So, I'm just putting that in there and I'm patting it down. Try to make it as flat as possible. Just like I did the last one. Because I really wanted that rose effect in this with the stem. But I guess I'm not there yet. Because I didn't love the way this came out either. Or maybe I should have just did it all clear. And just added the rose. I don't know. I might try it again. Might not. Might start off a little bit simpler. We'll see. So this is the first one I had done, and I didn't really like it. I think I was trying to do too much. And then the mold that dried the first time that wasn't all the way put together, I just put it, pushed it into more epoxy and created it. And then this is the outcome of the mold that I showed you guys. I like it a lot better than I liked the last one. Um, I would do less red though, but yeah. So in this video, it's still a little soft, but it ended up hardening a couple days later and it's super sturdy, but we're about to get into actually putting the labels onto this cup. So I ordered this roll of the clear transfer tape from Amazon. It has been working beautifully until this time. But I usually only use it on like regular vinyl, not like this metallic vinyl. 
so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why it's not adhering how it usually does and stuff I had to do a lot of work and as you can see I'm struggling but I wanted because to leave this done. in here and because, I forgot to freaking you know that's what I tend to do level it so everything is exactly the same you see that this is up a little bit and this is um about the same so I want to make sure everything looks exactly the same for a um for a bulk order so this is what I want to do this is a dry erase marker and it's kind of leaking really bad look at that so that's a dry erase marker and just show you ooh. just to show you that it comes right off so this is what I'll be using to make sure everything is lined up nice and even. I'll be putting the S right under this red line, right under this red line, so that's where it'll be. And then um, I'm just going to do this for all of the cups. So this is all the cups, and then this is the cups. The finished. But now we're about. So I'm just taking my heat gun and I want to make sure that I help the vinyl adhere to the glass and heat does that. I have it on a low setting. You can also use a blow dryer. Blow dryer that works fine. A blow dryer works fine. <laughs> so I just decided to use my heat gun and I'm doing this to all the cups. Not for long at all. Not long at all because this is a very high temperature gun this is what i need to pop the bubbles on the epoxy but i'm just making sure everything adheres and is good and i want to thank you guys for watching my video and being here for me and subscribing to my channel um have a blessed night be safe be careful and bye